if Kevin Feige were to hand you the reins of Marvel Studios tomorrow, what would the first projects you announce be? Galactus. Yep. <laughs> I need a Galactus movie. Definitely. Perfect. He would never do that. <laughs> you don't think he'll do it's it? It's definitely Kevin Feige's nightmare having me <laughs> be, be the lead at Marvel. Yeah. That is not to you. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City who save the world. That's a fantasy too. Hello and welcome to a very special edition of the Movie Podcast. My name is Daniel and today I am joined by Shabazz. Hello. Shay, today is special and I need you to tell everybody why. Let's get right to it. I know they saw the title of this episode. Did they though? But it's not enough. You, I don't know if they did. Mm. I don't know. Tell us why it's special. Well, today's a very special day because we are talking to Iman Vellani, who you might know as Kamala Khan, a.k.a. Miss Marvel. Unbelievable. Markham Legend at Markham this point Legend. now. She, she's earned that title already. Yep. This is her first project, and this is something that we've been hoping to talk to her for so long. It's no secret how much we love this show, and it's pretty amazing that we get to, we get to talk to her. She's joining us on the movie podcast. Miss Marvel's on the show. Do you think that when she goes back home to like see her family and friends, they call her Miss Markham? Oh, I didn't think about that. We should ask her that next we time. Should, we should have asked. Why didn't, why didn't you ask me that <laughs> moments ago when we just finished talking to her? Well, we, I should be like, Miss Markham. Sorry, I meant Miss Marvel. I'm so sorry. No, but it's pretty. I, was, I thought you were going to ask, like, do you think she'll go home and like show her family and friends? Like, hey, look, I was on the movie podcast. Well, I think that's the second thing that she would do once they call her Miss Markham. <laughs> yes, of course, Miss Markham. We know. We know. Uh, <laughs> no, listen, this is it's all fun and games with us, but we also... But it's all serious. It's like, this is serious <laughs> business. No, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to turn it so serious. No, but it's it, this is again as we always say. We're coming off a couple of weeks of just a lot of special guests and a lot of episodes. So we're so thankful for you. Uh, first of all, to lend us your bandwidth. Yes. For, for your internet, because you're probably like again another episode. You what have is to going have two data plans to watch? Yeah, the you need podcast. two phones as well two too, phones. just to have all the episodes. No, but we are just so grateful for these opportunities. We, it's no secret how much we love the show. It's no secret how much we love Aman Vellani in the show. And to be able to have her join us and talk about Marvel and geek out with her and just have a good time uh, means the world to us. So mm. we're so excited to share our interview with her very, very soon. Uh, but I did want to remind you, there are lots of amazing episodes out right now on the movie podcast. If you want to, if you like what we did today on this episode, and you're like, hey, you know what? These guys, these guys got a. These guys rock. These guys got the the entertainment bug. Let's let's. And if let's you're from the them. '40s as well, yeah. maybe that's probably why. <laughs> uh, there's lots of amazing episodes of the movie podcast you can listen to right now, including our interview with Cooper Rafe, who is the director of Cha Cha Real Smooth, Terry Chen from The Lake on Prime Video, and the director, producer, composer of Lightyear and the animation team at Pixar. There's so much to listen to. There's lots of reviews out there, so please. That's just one week you're talking about. That's, just one, that's week. one week. I'm you're out of breath. About. I can't talk anymore. Not um, even next week. We, there's already interviews <laughs> in the pipeline for next best. week. Help me, please. No, it's uh, we're very lucky to be doing what we're doing right now. We're super excited to share with you this interview. So without further ado, let's jump in and welcome Am Aman Vellani to the Movie Podcast. Hello, Aman. I'm Daniel. And I'm Shabazz. Yeah. Nice to meet you, too. How are you doing today? Good, good, good. Loving the background, loving the shirt. Oh, thank, thank you. No, we had to, we had to come correct. Very brand. <laughs> <laughs> well, you also have all the art books for the MCU, but we needed to keep one of us in frame, so yeah. we can't have them all on display. So, sorry about that. Well, thank you for telling me that. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, we haven't had Scott Lang yet on the movie podcast, but we're thrilled to join to have you join us. So thank you for sharing your time with us. Oh, of course. I'm happy to take his place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first question out the gate, I got to ask you, Kamala is a huge Avenger stan. You're a huge MCU stan. And I need to know if Kevin Feige were to hand you the reins of Marvel Studios tomorrow, what would the first projects you announce be? Galactus. Yep. <laughs> I need a Galactus movie. Definitely. Perfect. He would never do that. <laughs> you don't think he'll do it's it? Definitely Kevin Feige's nightmare having me <laughs> be, be the lead at Marvel. Yeah. Oh, Just God. everything's green lit right when you get in. Yeah. I'm like, Whatever. oh, good idea. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do everything. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Now, you know, Kamala mentioned that her favorite SRK movie is Bazigar. I got to ask, what's your favorite Shah Rukh Khan movie? I got to be honest here. <gasps> I like Shah Rukh Khan. I like Shah Rukh Khan. I like the songs in the movies. Okay. However, DDLJ does not hold up. Just it's it's a little outdated, I must say. Yeah, it is. Just, I'm gonna put it out there. We watched it as a cast together for the first time, and I was like, 
oh my god <laughs> it's just so creepy in it um I don't know I I I just like Shah Rukh Khan I maybe as a joke raw one because it's like oh, yeah. the equivalent of Iron Man except it's not very true very very on brand <laughs> yeah now you're one of the many new Canadians who've joined the MCU. What do you think makes Canadians the best superheroes? Ooh, I ooh, I mean, we have a lot of heart, you know. Canadians, they they, they bring a lot of themselves and their upbringing. I feel like I came from a very humble background, and I was able to use a lot of that into into Kamala and just honestly, the parallels between Markham and and Jersey City was something that I that I would point out a lot just because Kamala often in the show would like overlook um, the the water onto New York and see all the big heroes fighting in New York and, and what New York represents especially when you're so close to it you know Jersey City and for me that was Toronto and I'm like I'm from Markham I never even like drive up to Toronto unless I'm like going to TIFF or something and, right. and the Toronto just represented that to me of like this this greatness more and more opportunity and, and so yeah I think that's kind of like the parallel. I love that. And it's cool. I mean, like with yourself and then Hayden Christensen right now, you guys are both having this amazing just showcase of Markham right now on Disney it's Plus. So it's wild. Awesome. Like we were taught by the same drama teacher and now both our shows are on Disney Plus at the same time. It's amazing. Yeah. That's, amazing. That's really good timing. Uh, now, really quickly for you, you know, the show's had some incredible music featured in the first two episodes. We can't wait to see where the rest of the show goes musically. Do you think... Think, like, do you know what Kamala's like save the world song would be? Like, do you have a song that you think that she would put on to save everyone too? Ooh. No one's ever asked me that. <laughs> I do have like a whole Kamala playlist. I feel like, you know, Manic Monday by the Bangles. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like that would be a great start. Definitely. You know, just like the chaos of Mondays. Yeah, um, yeah I like I like that song. That's perfect. That's wicked. We, we're so excited. You know, we we love the show. If, I know we didn't get to say it at the top of this, this interview, but we love the show. And it's been the last couple of weeks of us just getting just to geek out over it and just have a good time with it. And we spoke with Adil and Bilal as well, too. And they're yeah. just, their they're excitement is so infectious. So it's been so great seeing this show. So we just want to say yeah. thank you for saying that. It, it means a lot. It's crazy. Like, we, we really wanted this to like speak to the the nerds and, and hopefully every single person can see themselves in Kamala in some small capacity. So yeah, I'm, I'm really glad you guys can relate to it. We, we've loved the representation. I mean, I had a chance to show my sister, you know, and she's 14 years old, she's Pakistani and all of a sudden she's seeing someone that looks like her on the screen and kind of seeing that reaction who, from someone who doesn't watch movies that often, that was mind blowing to me. So thank you for doing that. You're really an inspiration to so many people out there. Oh my God. It's weird. People call me like an inspiration or whatever. Cause I still look up to Kamala in the comics. Like I just feel like I'm cosplaying on a bigger scale, right. you know? And, and I think that's kind of the appeal of the character. Like Spider-Man, anyone can be under the mask and, right. and this lightning bolt and this character mean, means so much to so many people. So yeah, really cool. Aman, thank you so much. We're so lucky to have you join the MCU and we cannot wait to see how the rest of the show plays out and then see you kick butt next year with Bree yeah. and Fiona in the Marvels. So thank you so much for your time and we hope we could talk to you again. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome back. Aman Vellani was just on the movie pod. She's now a friend of the show. Yeah, that's how it works. You're on the movie pod. I think we just say your name on the show. Your friend Iman. of the show. Friend of the show. Yeah. Done. You know, Aman. You know, Aman. Aman was on the show. I mean, the, the best part is that Miss Markham. Miss Markham is on the show now, and we've built this connection with her. We've built this trust with her. So now that when she sees us on the streets of Markham, yes, she'll be like, "Hey, you two, what are you doing around here?" Are they- <laughs> I don't know why she's. Is Markham I, in Brooklyn? By the way, that's my Markham accent. Was it not good? It was. It was. I don't. You know, here's the thing. I don't. I've never been to Markham. I can't confirm. You've never been to Markham. I've been to Markham. Oh, I was just doing it for effect. It was oh, for. It was for that the scared drama. me a little bit. It was. For you the can't drama. do that effect though, because we're Canadians, so we have to say we've been everywhere. We've been everywhere in Canada. Yeah. Mm, except the Yukon. Yeah. We don't go there. We don't go there. We don't go there. No, but again, Aman, thank you so much for sharing your time with us. Thank you to our friends at Disney Studios Canada for connecting with with her and. I hope you're watching this show. We're ta- we talk about the show all the time oh on the God. movie podcast. So we have four episodes left at this point, and already it's a contender for the best Disney Plus show. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're so lucky right now that we're getting Obi Wan and we're getting Miss Marvel, two Markham legends at once uh, on the show. So who knows where we're going to go from here? Uh, right. We do, 
but we actually do. Yeah. Stay tuned. Uh, as always, you can catch a brand new episode of the movie podcast every single Monday and watch out throughout the week for review episodes, interviews, uh, and on all the latest movies and series, there's lots going on here. And of course, if you want to support the show, keep the lights and the mics on, you can get merch as well too. And there'll be more ways to support the show very, very soon. That was this time with the movie podcast and we'll see you next.